Hey guys, Black House here once more with Let's Play Victoria 2 as the French. In the last part, I think we're doing background stuff. Yeah, we're doing background stuff. As we witness the fall of the so the British Empire from major status to secondary power. Oh baby, that's been a long time coming. Anyway, um, this time, I don't actually know what we're doing. We're sowing our sieges over here from the Taiping Nationalists. Which you for another rebellion. I mean, they're normally going to happen like every five minutes, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I kind of regret going communist just because of the amount of rebellions we're getting. I mean, if it wasn't for that, we'd be perfectly fine. I say perfectly fine. I'd be happy. Uh, Scotland... Why can't we? Yeah, I have our investment. Hmm. But yeah, um, if it wasn't for how... I was Holstein. Hmm. If it wasn't for how it, it's come about and how it's ended, I'd, I'd be happy going communist, but it's just... So many rebellions to deal with. I don't know how the Soviet Union does it. Ever. See, Panama! Panama! Dead! <laughs> light tanks! A major step forward in tank technology was a light tank. Generally amount... Generally amounting... Big game hunting. Which you know. Reasons. Generally amounting machine guns are a light gun. These were the first true tanks to be produced. Used in an infantry support role, these tanks gave divisions much needed mobile firepower with a solid defensive capability. But, well, it is. Well, that was easy. We only lost 89 people. Uh, yeah, now it's just cleaning up in Suzhou. Just cleaning up down in China. Oh, damn it, Soviets. So, we've got like. Mm, it's going to be about seven years left in the game, if that much. In seven years, I don't think we're going to get another good war. We might get one of the Brits, but we're not going to get them in the sphere, are we? There's now... The only major power alliance that we could screw with now is the Italian to the Soviets. And... To be fair, I don't... Well, wait, no, it's not even that. It's the Austrians? Yeah, that's what I see. Austria, you go power? Yes, you are. You're, you're at war with the Swedish. Hmm. Alright, time for the final attack in the game. Market determined exchange rates. I always leave this one to last. I actually don't even know why, to be honest. Um, mostly because of hyperinflation. 2% chance of getting it. And it's 10% factory costs and plus 0.01 consciousness and non-colonial. I don't like it if I'm doing a capitalist economy. The thing is, I'm kind of dealing with the economy on my own in my own time. Uh, you're putting stuff. I'm dealing with the economy on my own, so, you know, money isn't an issue. Also, we've got new railways to install. It's time to power our railroads up to max level. Also, my, I think I'll upgrade some of the forts as well. Let's just upgrade everything we can. Just because. Because at this point, it's near the end of the game. I have level 1 forts just about ev uh, anywhere. I shouldn't have level 1 forts at this point, but you know what, it's just easier. Yeah, let's, let's, let's let time run while we're doing this. Problem is, as soon as one rebellion happens... Uh, tensions, eh? As soon as one rebellion happens, we're going to lose all the progress on these. Uh, sphere? Sphere! Hello, Switzerland. Ah, we might not be able to get any more because of the... F yeah. Because the Italian's actually investing here. Uh, into me eventually. I feel like an evil twat for doing that, but... Yeah, sometimes you just gotta let the worst happen just to survive. Not saying we, you know, die, but where things go in this game. I forget. Do you upgrade with Corsica? You do. Good. Where else can we? Oh god, Africa. That's that time we're in the just around Africa. We will eventually have all this upgrade. I don't think we have it all upgraded in time at the end of the game. 
Okay, no base, so that's a good sound. Really? This is what, Pax Franca? Uh, oh, um, Coach Camp. Eh, okay, let me see. Hey, Jazz, hello. There's always one somewhere. Are you on the Rebel Hunt? You are. No, let's go and do Rebel Hunt. You too. Let's go deal with that while we do the rest of the Empire. Really, I'm just building these so we've actually got some defense against Rebels at this point. Uh, stuck well. I mean, not being rude, but I... We don't really need forts down here. I, I I keep saying it, and I keep meaning it. I don't care about what happens in the colonies. If the colonies fall, then the colonies fall. It's not that much war exhaustion. It's not even that much of a loss. The biggest loss is probably a manpower, but, you know, you've already got manpower from them. We have 372 divisions. We're already losing them through rebellions. Because we keep cutting them down. But we can get around the Empire fast doing this. Oh, new Empire. So, I'm guessing Austria we lost that. Buying on margin. Oh, God, someone's got released. Prussia has been released. You what? What? <laughs> what? the fuck? When did... Prussian nationalists enforce their demands? Prussia is a thing. <laughs> what? Ooh, look at Jimmy, that's fancy. The communist! <laughs> yes! Ah, so many communist powers. That actually amuses me, to be honest. Prussia exists in Germany. Ooh. Ooh, could do a liberating nation for that. I had to think that one over. Um, could do a liberation of Prussia just to really screw with things. Yeah, it's a loss. My foot really hurts. Oh, now you want an alliance. Come on, then. Yay. Come on, Prussia. It, that's going to be weird. I've got Germany and Prussia existing at the same time. I don't think that's meant to happen normally. <laughs> like, I think you'll find Prussia leads Germany right now. That's a lot of railroads there. Jeez. I miss my capitalists. Come back to me. I don't think I'm like halfway through these yet. This is the one thing I hate about having a big empire. When you've got to do all this. What's this? Oh, and chili. Yeah, you can suck a peanut. Uh, yeah, I don't really. Yeah. Yay, another core. Wow, hungry. You really didn't invest in your railroads, did you? I'll invest for you. Crisis in Ulster. Ireland wants representation. Go on. This could turn into a great war? No one's going to support the British, are they? Nah. Didn't think so. Uh, French got... Mm, consciousness and joins well. Nah. Hey, cottage industry. Let's use militancy. Let's see how long we can have till a rebellion happens. Because that, that is going up... Ri you had to say it, didn't you, Swift? You just had to! Christ. Can is probably going to fall. Yeah, Can has fallen. Uh, and then we'll try and... At least Paris didn't get bothered this time. Nothing's moving right now. Or you are. I had to say it, didn't I? I just had to. <sighs> well, now for another long line of rebels. 
I don't think it's been that long since the last one, and that really, that's the thing that annoys me the most. It hasn't been that long since the last Rebellion. I don't mind Rebellions themselves. You know, keep them coming. I can deal with them. It's just they come so quick. I mean, this is what, damn. Date the first one, they popped up. 15th of July, okay. Let's keep track of that. 15th of July is when the last one happened. Holy crap. <laughs> we actually need to deal with more, that's a good sign. Looks like most of them are around. Friendly. Yeah, that's dealt with now. There, quelled. Done. Okay, 5th of July, I remember that. Who's this? Against the Germans. Yeah, take the prestige from relations. And the, yeah. We're kind of the only other great power they can rely on right now. And that kind of says a lot when we're the only other one they can rely on because we're communist. Shows you how bad the world's gone. There we go, had my efficiency. That's every, all the research done in the game. Hey, the renewal base. So we no longer need our clerks. Well, we do for factories, but we don't need them. Uh, for research anymore, so we could get rid of the one here. I'm going to start moving everything towards getting migration going. So I'm going to see if I can turn a couple of these places into states. Start from the bottom. Let's go to Borneo. Around the Rask, and uh, North Angola. I need to change view. Okay. Let's see if we can get some more states made out from that. If we can, that's going to help us out a ton. So I'll make it easier. Oh, hello. Make it easier when it comes to um, doing things. I mean, if it does work, it's going to be help out. It's going to help us out a lot more than before. Hey, more prestige. It's going to help us out a lot more because I'm no future reference. That's the best way to do it. I mean, I've never actually experimented in how you actually would do it. And this does seem like a logical way. I'm not saying it's the right way, but if we can get more migrants over, that's going to save us a ton of time. I don't know. I mean, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But you don't know until you try. I might have left it too late, to be fair. What's this? Sweden. Well, Sweden, we keep fighting the Russians over. Uh. Oh, that's where Fiji is. And that's where the USA is. The place we didn't build a naval base. What? Huh. The place we haven't upgraded a naval base. I really did not pay attention out here, did I? Okay, then we go over here. Uh, let's get that as well. Listen, you're building it now. Uh, give me my. No, give me Panama. Not Panama. Um, Balboa, sorry. Give me Rocky. And there. Uh, I don't need to. Iceland. Actually, Iceland. Oh, Iceland's free. Okay. Sweet. And French Canada. Okay, that should be everything. It is. Now we just wait for it all to build. Which is going to take a while. Uh, that's a lot of stuff done in 720 days. Alright, what are you missing? Nah, yeah, again, yeah, let's get the resource together. Steel and cement. Are they actually getting that together? Yep, they get it together. I mean, apparently it takes them a bit to buy it up, but... 
Santa Cruz, nice. Whew. Naval attrition down, nice. Naval exercises. We're not gonna need navy anymore, but hey, who's this? Turkey. Now the greatest part of opening up. May as we've still got the Revolutionary Party in power there, to be fair, but hey, don't complain. Naval exercises. Critical component training for war at seas. we we'll see, when naval exercises. In which ships were engaged in mock battles. Prussia, what the hell? Prussia declared war in Germany. The Prussian Liberation! Oh god. Uh, yeah, go on. Uh, have you got any military yourself? Well, Prussia liberated itself, so I presume it's got. Yeah, it has got something. We'd be fighting the war for you, practically. To be fair, I kind of want to see Prussia come back, so. Come on, Prussia. Let's do this, baby! Oh, and all the way go, lads! Four more wars! <laughs> Four more wars! Uh, how the hell I got to this, I'll never know. But, time to kill Germany again! I'm actually going for somewhere near them, at least. Banned in Turkey. Prussia, you better love us for this. Stop. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's um, that's gonna be slightly in our favour. Don't know. Just might be slightly skewed in our favour. I wonder how they accept Ashkenazi. I mean, that I've never seen anything like that. Is that a new thing? Yeah. <laughs> they won't take the peace deal. Oh, I wonder why. Well, these aren't going to take too long to take, are they? This group here and... Oh god, I'm 55! <laughs> Holy crap, they're mobilised. What's your... Your pro-military? What's the other thing? Pro-military against... Anti-military. Technically, Germany has it. Why is Guangxi allowing us again? I'm surprised how quiet it is over in China. I, I thought China would have gone to war with Guangxi already, but then I guess Sphere can't go against Sphere. I mean, I don't know for sure, and that's, I should know, to be fair, but yeah. Yeah, these natives. Catalonia wants an alliance. Go here. What's this? Bavaria. Hmm. Not Bavaria. Let's increase the opinion. Uh, who is your... It's the Austrians. Yeah, both German culture, I guess. This war might be going slightly against you, Germany. I don't know. Yeah, how are you called your Prussia? <laughs> I'm called your. I'll go to the war of them. I'll be straight away. Still four percent from occupation. Yeah, Germany, you you you're not gonna win. We have several thousand more men than you. This, this war is slightly skewed in our favour. Yeah, just just slightly. No moment to leapfrog anymore. I just know I'm going to win this. Spain wants an alliance. Huh. Hmm. Nah, not worth it. So I think Prussia spawned with whatever type the Netherlands had. Because have, have they spread from the Netherlands or have they come from the? Okay, they come from the Germans, apparently. No, wait, that was... Oh, that's what the... Yeah, the ne Netherlands got that during the war, didn't they? So they lost nationalists, some people. Okay, I can, I can live with that. In terms of they're a free nation, free people, CB. We took Manaheim. 
here, and then we got the choke points up. Now the railroads are getting done. We're getting the nail base up. Hello, Fraulein! You did not win this, you know, you're just saying Germany, you're not going to win. And the Christmas in Switzerland. Friendly! Prussia! Apparently we're neutral. Germany was knocked us down or something. There we go, what they got? Do you don't have gas to f attack? Actually, you probably could both have it. The Prussian army is more balanced. What? No comment. No comment. This is the end of Germany. I think it kind of says a lot about how the Germans are doing when they're losing to France and themselves. Technically, anyway. I'm still amused by how much you can screw over history in like 100 years. I mean, 100 years of history, and so far the world has been screwed over in so many ways it's not even funny. Whoa, and what have we got here? German narcolips. Could have picked a better time. Let's bring Holstein in. They won't. Doesn't give you reasons why. Okay, let's look at Bavaria. Will you join? No. Wonder why. Now, nah, as we said, I don't really care. How far are we off getting peace with you? We have 24%. Have you got war exhaustion? 1%. Can't add the war goal because we don't have enough jingoism. Great. Let's keep the war going and let Prussia make a few more demands. Germany wants peace for Westphalen. Nope. We'll wait a bit. Probably skip through here. Yeah, go through here and then go to Erfurt. Erfurt. Who are you against? You're not at war with anyone. Ah, they're in the Austrian sphere now. Go here. There we go. And then you guys go engage that t that one tank and go to Hanover. Go so side of that tank group. Yeah, we're not gonna get Bavaria back. Shame, really. Hey, another call. What's this? Prussia. To be fair, I kind of want to go out and keep fighting until Prussia makes more demands. And I don't know how much jingoism they have. I mean, I know they're, they're anti-military. Hmm. But they're pro-military. Where's that the Germans? Yeah, the Germans are pro-military. Okay. Hmm. We'll let it go for a bit. They have a boat, apparently, as well. Would you be willing to join? They will not. Really? How? We should tell you why. I mean, with the um, that's one they'll give EU for. It gives you like a list of you know reasons that they won't or will join. This is just it's just a simple nope, nope, nope. Italy broke their alliance with us. What are you up to, Italy? I was your only ally. Crossman Senegal, eh? At this point, eh, yeah, don't really care. The Germans are dying! Dying, I say! We're still working on railroads. How long till we get around to our forts? There we go. Some are actually building now. Could take them like two years to get up a level. And by that point, we should be in time for the next rebellion! There we go! <laughs> I called it! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Every single damn friggin' time. It's like they know. They just know. Oh wait, that's almost 50 July. 
It's... I think it's been about a year to server since the last rebellion. So they are going faster. Somehow the Paris group is still holding. Here come the rebels. Promise somehow in all this I've got to find what the siege are like. There we go. So when you're done there, you're heading off. Damn it, Italy! <laughs> Save for five minutes later. And now. Oh, siege is over. <laughs> Go to there. Bolivia. Eh, sure. Just don't call me into anything. I don't really care about your, your turmoil. Alright, are we in danger of losing anything? Nope. And the stuff is nearly taken care of. Nope. Uh, Prussia, you could make another demand. One of these days I'm going to do a playthrough where when we get to, like... Why, why do you keep asking for an alliance? One of these days when I get to this point where I'm just like the superpower, I am just going to start putting in cheats to get us, like, more infamy limit or something, more jingoism or whatnot. Because there's come a point where you can just blob and take out everything. And we've easily hit that point in this. In fact, we've hit this point in just about every single playthrough. But this one more so, because the rest of the world's so damaged. We can't ruin the world just by existing, technically. One well, of the last bastions of democracy in Europe is Austria. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Prussian, yeah, it's not even democracy. Are you kidding me? The last bastion of democracy in Europe is Iberia. Let me just put that into context. Oh, Ireland's democracy. Scotland is. Okay, the last bastion of democracy in Europe is Iberia, Ireland, and Scotland. That's not a lot of Europe. <laughs> just saying. It's tiny. Why are you taking damage? Oh, because you're sieging. Okay. Really should get back to renaming my stuff. I miss those days where you just rename your armies. Or I rename my armies, rather. Still want peace. No, the war isn't expanded. Doop -do. There's not really much more you can do, Germany. Okay, Prussia. Make a damn demand. You have the infamy. They're suffering enough. Can I invest in your economy? I can't. I wonder. Okay, um, so let's have a look at trade and see what's making money. Automobiles are, but they're going down. Tanks, planes are. Let's make a few more planes. Yeah, let's get you making some planes then. And some automobiles. And some electric gears. Actually, machi mm. machine parts. Get the chain going. Let's upgrade this. Good. Let's upgrade that for you. And there we go. There's not really much more they can do. Frankfurt's been t occupied by getting occupied by German fascists. I'm tempted. To, yeah, I'm tempted to peace out. Yeah, let's do that. This will end the war, won't it? Yeah, let's have alliance. Germany, will you take the offer? Thank you. Westphalia's now Prussian. Hope you're happy, Prussia. Now let's see if we can get a fascist Germany out of this. All they have to do is just move. <laughs> okay, let's go through Prussia into Bavaria. 
No, not like that. It's got to do this just right, or else they're going to trip up over some uh, fascists. And I really don't want them to trip over fascists. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to see if, like, fascist Germany appear, to be honest. The amount they've gone through. Are you an Archilibs or are you fascist? You're an Archilibs. So, Prussia, happy with me? Yeah, you are. Bavaria is not, but you're caught between two. We've got, actually, we have an advantage over Bavaria now. Because it's caught between us. Come on, Portugal. We're called you, we've been banned. We have a lot more invested here than Austria. Um, same culture, no, Ireland. Same culture's gonna take an effect. Holy crap, that. That industry score from Austria, from the um, USA. That's quite big. Bit of rain. Um, need more water. <laughs> I think Bitter Rain's a new one. And why do these guys keep making up iron's offers? Let's keep an eye on. Let's see if there's actually a uh, notice about the breaking alliance or something. Come on, fascists. Come on, German fascists. Where are you? Right. Here comes another rebellion. What are they on? They're on 0.2, but they're going up by. F they're going over 4.3 percent. The chance of going up. There's 11.314 million supporting the Jacobins. Holy crap! It's never going to end. Uh, these names. It's never going to damn well end, is it? All right, let's look at the states we are encouraging. How are you doing, Borneo? We have the French. What do we need now? Uh, bureaucrats. All right, let's change you to bureaucrats then, which is that. Rask. You've got a good deal of French. Let's encourage bureaucrats as well. And let's look at other places. North Madagascar. 3.2. Christ, French is definitely a minority there. Could probably get a few out of these. Damn it, Netherlands! Ah, encourage bureaucrats. Let's go over these now to see if I can actually get some states. I mean, come on, it'd be nice if I could get some states out of these. Even if it's just a short term. I mean, I don't know how I exactly get the state done faster. That's the problem. My next time, chance to get to bully Netherlands. And well, they want to line certainly. Fine. Germany is falling through the ranks again. Brazil will take its place. Canada is so close to becoming a great power. It's ridiculous. <laughs> It's, it wants to make it, you can tell. It's like, I'm just on the edge. Come on, put me in, coach. You know what, let's justify a freeing uh, 7.5 detected. It would put us over the limit.
Oh, no, my arms. Okay, if I did 7.5, so 7.5 from 12, uh, 25 is... It's about 18, no, uh, 17, so... 17 and a half. Might be an easier way. To be fair, most industries around. What the hell? It's a lot of places. Ambassador insulted by... Oh, the Netherlands! Oh, it's funny you should say that! Oh, you know, they've got something I kind of want, so, you know, let's just go and humiliate them. Can I turn this into a great war? Sweden has a truce. Okay, who is your great power ally? The Soviets or the Austrians? Don't tell me twice. Great war? Fifth Great War! Bingo, baby! <laughs> we have the advantage. They have... Really, it's all over one front. But I'm going to leave that till next time, folks. So, next time, let's play... Um, this is civilization. Victoria 2, as the French. We're going to do the Fifth Great War. This will probably be the last one of the series. I've been the Blair Chaos. You've been you. Join me again next time for more in the Merry Land of France, here in Victoria 2. Thank you all for watching, folks. I'll see you next time.